With heart attack, why we're doing CPR for adults is typically because of heart-related issues. For children, it's typically because of breathing emergencies. Kids don't have the heart attacks hardly ever, but adults is a heart issue. So if you have someone on a boat or whatever else, heart attack, what is a heart attack? First of all, in the heart itself, what happens is the heart needs oxygen to supply to its own, uh, its own system for the heart muscle. Normally, blood flows through the coronary arteries and serves the outer part of the heart quite fine. But if you've been eating high fatty foods, smoking and stuff, you're going to have plaque that develops inside the arteries. And that looks like this. This is the cross section of one of the arteries. After a while, you have more and more plaque start to clog up on the inside of the artery. Okay? It looks like plaque is like the plaque that's on your teeth if you don't brush your teeth, kind of yellow mm -hmm. and grungy. Well, that stuff builds up. And sooner or later, a chunk of it may come downstream and block off or dam off the rest of the arteries. So what part of the heart here does not get blood supply then if we got a blockage upstream? Do you see? Part. What part? Here. So a heart attack is happening when this part of the heart in this diagram does not get enough blood supply, then it's blocked off. And if a part of the heart doesn't get blood supply, it starts to send out signals. Hey, I need help. I need help. What are those signals? For the body, the person's pale and sweaty in their face. They have a dull chest pain in their men. For women, they typically don't have the dull chest pain, but they'll have the other symptoms as well. Radiating pain from the chest area up to anywhere these little dots are, which is in the shoulders, the neck, the jawline, or on the inner parts of the arms. You'll feel numbness or tingling in those areas. Also, nausea. So nausea in the stomach area, shortness of breath, and a feeling of general weakness. Okay? Uh, the person could be otherwise healthy, but they're feeling slumped over and they feel just low energy. Also a key thing is psychological. What do you think the person might be doing in their head if they're having a heart attack? Freaking out. Panicking Freaking out. out or usually uh, many times just the opposite. They're in denial. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm too young. I'm too healthy to have a heart attack. It happens to someone else. If you start hearing someone deny they're having a heart attack, they're probably having a heart attack. Okay? Denial, big thing. So just to recap again, pale and sweaty in the face, dull gripping chest pain in men, radiating pain into the shoulder, neck, or arms, or jaw, nausea, shortness of breath, and general weakness. Those signs lasting two minutes or longer call the paramedics. Okay, most people having a heart attack will let it go on 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then by that time, the heart's been so badly damaged, it says, hey, enough's enough, and it stops. So we want to recognize it quickly and get help right then and there. Yay.